What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Hear me out. Okay, if you guys know who Peter McKinnon is, he's a very popular YouTuber. Obviously, he has like five point something million subscribers here on YouTube. Anyways, he does a thing or a segment on his channel called Two Minute Tuesdays. <laughs> Two Minute Tuesdays is him explaining a topic or going over something super quickly in two minutes or less. Now, I kind of want to do the exact same thing, but kind of put my own spin on it and explain topics in a short time frame to get my point across quickly and so that you guys don't like get super bored during these types of videos. So basically, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to call it seven minute Sundays. I'm going to try and upload a topic like this every single Sunday, either like a quick informational video or maybe like a seven minute vlog or whatever. But it's basically going to be me trying to put it into a seven minute video clip. So if this video right here does well, I will do more in the future. So please, please give me some feedback after you watch this video and let me know if you want me to continue doing these. So I'm gonna try my very best to keep it around seven minutes. This intro right here has already been like a minute, so I'm already shooting myself in the foot. But with all that being said, let's get into this. I'm gonna explain to you how you can make your own diet. Oh, so my apologies on making that intro super, super long and I probably already like made this video longer than it has to be. But basically all I'm gonna do in this video is detail and describe to you guys how to create your own diet. Okay, so so many people ask me how many calories, how many macros, how much protein, carbs, fats that I have in my personal diet and they expect to just know that information and then follow that. But that doesn't work for everybody. Okay, as soon as I tell them, oh, I'm having, let's say 2,500 calories a day, they'll start having that amount and maybe that is not set for their goals, their age, you know, how tall they are, how much they weigh and everything like that. So when I tell you guys that or I tell people in general on Instagram or in comments or something, that is specific to me. So so basically in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set that up for yourself in terms of calories, in terms of protein, carbs, fat, to do with your own goals, your own age, what you want to accomplish in life, and just know what you want to do in life and how to set up your diet around your lifestyle, okay? If I miss some crucial, crucial things, don't get at me, okay? This is my first time doing the seven minute Sunday. I hope you guys enjoy it. So with all that being said, let's just get into it. I gotta start talking about this. Not only am I gonna show you uh, my baby photos. <laughs> How cute I am. No, but for real, not only am I going to show you calories, macros, everything like that, because obviously that takes literally two seconds. I'm going to show you guys kind of what foods you should be having for your own diet or how flexible you want to get with your own diet if you want to accomplish your own goals. Okay, it, it, it's not hard. It's honestly not that hard. So I'm going to explain it super quickly or like not like that, but you know what I mean? Like decently fast. Okay. Super quickly. Let's go over your calories because that is obviously the most important thing. So take your body weight in pounds, whatever that number is and multiply it between 14 to 16. 14 is kind of you being less active than 16 is you, I don't know, walking 10,000 steps a day. You're super active. Maybe you're working out like four to six times during the week. Your own personal job is very physically demanding. So you're burning a lot of calories. Okay. So take your body weight in pounds, multiply it between 14 to 16. As soon as you get this number based on your current goals, whether you're trying to shred or bulk or maintain, this is how many calories you will subtract or add to that amount that you just found like two seconds ago. Now, again, everybody's going to be different, right? So if someone is super heavy and they're super tall, they're probably going to be needing more calories so that they can either maintain their weight, lose body weight, or even gain weight. Okay, beautiful. Now that you have figured that out, that's the easy part, okay? It's pretty simple math. If you have a brain, if you went to school, you know how to do that. Okay, let's, let's congratulate. Yeah, woo! You want to decrease that amount if you want to go into a shredding phase. So subtract 200 to 500 from that amount to put yourself into a deficit. If you want to get immediate results and you want to lose weight a little bit quicker, then subtract 500. Or if you want things to go slower, you want to maintain more muscle mass in general, then subtract 200 to put yourself into a deficit to start losing weight. But in turn, let's say you want to start gaining weight. You want to bulk or maybe main gain or whatever. Add anywhere between 200 to 400 calories to put yourself into a surplus to start building muscle and bulking properly. Now, if you were bulking right now during the summer, like give yourself a pat on the back, man. You were crazy. Okay. I cannot bulk during the summer. I need to be shredded on a beach somewhere, but that's, that's uh, not part of the video. Anyways. Yeah. Now general rule of thumb here for protein intake. Uh, do I have some protein here? Yeah. Okay. So your protein, whether that's Greek yogurt, whether that's chicken, lean beef, ground Turkey, whey protein, doesn't matter what it is. Find your protein intake, take your body weight, whatever it is. Let's say it's 180 for me right now. Just have 180 grams of protein every single day. You can get more statistical with it and you can take a scale such as 0 0.8 to 1.2 and that's how much grams of protein you should have per pound of body weight. But for most people, they'll be like, oh, should I be on the lower end of 0 0.8 or should I be on the upper end of 1.2? Technically, if you're more overweight and you have less muscle mass, you'll be on the lower end of the spectrum. And if you're more lean and let's say you're in a deficit, you'll probably be on the upper end of the spectrum. So like 1.2, but to not confuse you at all, because I probably just did there, just take your body weight in pounds, 180, 
180 grams of protein. Okay, easy as that. Now for carbs and fats, honestly, they do not matter. You can play with them. You can have more carbs than fats. It doesn't matter, okay? You don't have to go keto and go super low carb if you wanna lose weight. You don't have to do that. But in terms of your fats, okay? So your crunchy peanut butters, your oils, your butters, avocados, almonds, nuts, everything like that. You wanna have at least 20% of your actual calories coming from fat. So for an example, really quickly, let's say you're having 2,400 calories a day, right? Take 2,400, multiply that by 0 0.2. Pull out your calculator right now and do that. 2,400 times 0 0.2 equals 480. Okay, 480, so 480 calories. Now, there's nine calories in each gram of fat. So take this amount, divide it by nine, you get this number right here, 53.333, let's just say that's 53. So you should be having at least 53 grams of fat every single day just to regulate your hormones and just to be healthy in general. And the rest of your calories will come from your carbs. Now again, you don't have to get too specific with these numbers, but if you do wanna be like a little bit more precise, have 180 grams of protein if you're 180 pounds or whatever, 53 grams of fat, if you're having 2,400 calories a day, then the rest of your calories will be carbs. If you are someone who follows flexible dieting and you wanna have a flexible diet, then that's completely fine. Okay, you can do that, then you can probably turn off the video right now. You can hit those calories, hit those macros for your own goals and you'll be fine. But if you are someone like myself where you want to have more structure in your diet as well as being more flexible, then here's what you're gonna wanna do. So basically, if you wanna follow some, actually, no, this is a weird, this is a weird angle. Let's just not do that. This part right here is all about your lifestyle and what you do for a living or how much time you actually have to eat throughout the day. So figure out how much you're eating during the day. Let's say anywhere between two to five meals. But just for the sake of having an example, let's say you have four meals during the day. Let's say you work a nine to five job, so you have a breakfast, a lunch, a supper, and maybe a snack. So take your daily protein target. So let's say you have 180 grams of protein every single day, divide that by four, and you're gonna split that up evenly in between each and every meal. This is basically so that you just hit your protein at the end of the day to make things easier, okay? If one meal has like 20 grams of protein and the other one has like 60 to 70, that's totally fine. Okay, because at the end of the day, daily total amount of calories and the daily total amount of protein that you have is king. Okay, you're hitting those two things right there, you will accomplish your goals. Okay, now in terms of your carbs and fats between those four meals, it honestly doesn't really matter. You can split them up however you want. If you want to follow like a flexible dieting approach, you can just like fill in the carbs and the fats with whatever food that you like. You don't have to be like super, super strict with it because then you will fall off the wagon and you'll do what they called a rebound, where you will basically, let's say you're trying to lose weight, you will lose all that weight and then two weeks after you know you start enjoying more food that you weren't including into your original diet and you're just gonna rebound and you're gonna gain that weight back you don't want to do that you don't wanna do that. But if you do wanna optimize your training, I would highly, highly suggest that you have a good amount of protein and a good amount of carbs before your workout. Not only will this fuel your workouts for one, but you'll also feel better. It's all about feeling better in the gym because the better you feel, the better your performance is gonna be. Now, if you have like four to five workouts during the week, you'll probably have a higher calorie intake than someone who's only working out like two to three times during the week, right? So that's completely fine. You can still make unreal progress by only working out two to three times a week, especially if you're a beginner, so don't even worry about it. Just evenly proportion your meals throughout the day based on your own lifestyle and your own goals. Now, I'm probably really butchering this whole seven minute Sunday kind of thing. Give me a break, okay, this is my first one. So let me know, please let me know, give me some feedback on how you are liking it so far. Uh, basically, this is my pre-workout meal, by the way. I have some rice, some chicken, some broccoli. Okay, it looks absolutely phenomenal, some mustard on top, pink salt, and also some pepper. Now, I was gonna go over the protein, carbs, and fats that you can include into your own personal diet, but that would take me probably an hour to describe so I'm gonna throw them up right on the screen. These are my go-tos right now. Just take a screenshot and you can take them with you to the grocery store if you want to get the same foods that I get in my diet. You don't have to, I'm just saying those are my favorites. Little side note, I love chicken, man. Chicken, rice, and broccoli, yeah, that probably seems like a plain ass meal. I love it. You put new sauces, new spices every time you eat it, it's good. I'm telling, I'm not, I'm not joking. It's good, trust me, it's good. Now, as soon as you hit a plateau in terms of your own current diet, if you're trying to maintain, this doesn't really apply to you, but if you're trying to lose body fat, if you are shredding like I am right now, you will get to a time where the calories that you are having right now, they don't work anymore, okay? You can have 2,400 calories every single day, but you will just not make progress. You are in a plateau. So basically, you're not losing weight anymore, okay? The weight on the scale is not changing. So as soon as that happens, this will typically happen every like four to five weeks. Again, just self-regulate, self-assess your own progress and everything. Subtract anywhere between 100 to 200 calories 
from the current amount that you were having so that you can actually continue making progress. And also with the other side of the spectrum, let's say you're bulking, you're not gaining weight anymore and you want to because you're bulking, you're trying to build muscle, right? So as soon as you hit a plateau, add anywhere between 100 to 200 calories to that amount so that you get over this plateau and so that you can continue making progress in your own bulk. Now, I know I'm gonna get a bunch of questions on how much fiber, how much sugar, how much of everything that I should have in my diet. In terms of losing weight, your sugar intake, because I know I'm gonna get this question or comment a lot of times, does not matter. Obviously, if you're a diabetic, if sugar really affects you, then don't have like stupid amount of sugar every single meal because that's probably not helping you, right? But in terms of weight loss, if you hit your calories, you hit your protein every single day, you will lose weight. You will make progress, okay? Trust me. So don't worry about the tiny little nitty gritty things such as your sugar intake and that kind of thing. Like yes, for overall health reasons, you don't want to have like 150 grams plus of sugar a day. Like that's probably not healthy. Just follow those general recommendations from the actual like health board and everything. Again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I'm not trying to be. But I know that if you follow your own diet, your own flexible diet, you know, you, you stick to your calories, your macros, in the grand scheme of things, you will accomplish your own goals if that's your goal. And if that's not your goal, then I don't know why you are watching this part of the video. But if you are just because you're watching me, then I love you. Mwah. Anyways, guys, these birds are chirping. They want me to end this video because I probably went way over the seven minute mark. And my apologies on that. It was my first time doing this. Can we just like tone it down a bit, please? I, I'm. I got like 30 seconds left. If you guys did enjoy me doing this kind of thing, again, I probably missed a bunch of key points. So if I do, I'll probably just put it into the description down below. If you did enjoy the video, like, sub, all that good shit. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, deuces.